Jumbo friends, it's time to travel to the deluxe resort that people love to hate. It's not on many people's must-do list because it's not most conveniently located to the theme parks, and some of the rooms are very pricey. But this might just be our favorite deluxe resort yet, and with everything they have to offer, you may love it too. Welcome to the Magical Resorts Guide. My name is Jennifer, and along with my husband Chris and baby Mason, we are on a journey to stay in all 18 Walt Disney World resorts this year. We have explored Spanish villages, climbed mountains in Magic Kingdom's backyard, felt fancy at Disney's flagship resort, traveled through pop culture timelines, been pirates in the Caribbean, and now we're ready for the wilder side of life. Resort number 10 is Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, and we can't wait to explore. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is one of the most fully immersive resorts we have stayed in so far. When you first walk into this stunning lobby, you are struck by the beautiful wood carvings, hickory and amber smell, and vibrant colors surrounding you. The back of the lobby has a unique glass window that overlooks one of three savannas that surround this resort full of magnificent African wildlife. The resort is designed in a horseshoe-shaped curve inspired by traditional African crawl with thatched roofs, terracotta brick exteriors, and beautiful foliage. With over 200 species of animals to view, you will surely get a great view, even if you don't have a savanna room. From waterfalls, fireplaces, and little hidden hideaways, you can easily get lost in the relaxation and awe of this resort as you live your own Disney's-inspired African safari. The resort is divided into two sections, Jumbo House, the main building that houses all resort rooms, and Kadani Village, where you will find the Disney Vacation Club accommodations. Amenities at both places are available for all guests, as well as access to view one of the largest collections of African art in the United States, which is on display all around the resort. We highly recommend you take some time to look through this fantastic collection. When booking a Disney resort, there are two important things you need to consider. What room types are offered and what the resort offers between transportation, dining, and activities. And in this video, we're tackling that first one. During our stay, we had a standard first floor room in Jumbo House with the most amazing views. So let's go check out this room. Jumbo House is divided into four hallways spanning from the Grand Lobby. Kudu Trail and Ostrich Trail on the left side of the building, and Zebra Trail and Giraffe Trail are on the right. Rooms come in standard view, water view, or savanna view with either two queen beds or one king bed. We got a lobby level room on the Kudu Trail and loved every minute. Decorated in dark wood with red and yellow accent, these rooms help bring the African safari to life. Our room had two queen beds, a small eating table, and a dresser with storage space. At 344 square feet, these rooms were on the smaller side of the deluxe rooms, but with the clean furniture lines and storage under the bed, we didn't feel cramped, even with our favorite slumber pod set up in the room. Wood carving details are on the headboards with mood lighting and reading lamps easily accessible. There were many USB chargers around the room and storage in the wall closets. Our bathroom featured this large, to seek vanity and gorgeously detailed backlit mirror. Our shower and toilet were in a separate room and the shower had upgraded waterfall shower heads. Both the bathroom and vanity area had closing doors, which I love. It makes it so much easier for multiple people to get ready in the morning. All rooms feature an in-room safe, coffee tea bar area, and beverage mini fridge. We loved the small nods to the Lion King in the room and the beautiful African decor and colors represented in our room. But the best part has to be what we could see from our balcony. Now we didn't spring for a savanna view and we wanted to test a theory and we're so glad we did. Our room was actually a standard view room that was savanna adjacent. And if you want to know how we snagged this room, be sure to subscribe. We plan to share a video with all of the details soon. From our balcony, we regularly saw zebra, kudu, giraffe, and more. It was one of the highlights of coming back to our room. We never knew what friends might be on the other side. Now, if you're planning on spending time at the resort, not all day at the theme parks, and your budget allows for it, I highly recommend upgrading to a savanna view. This is the only way you can guarantee that you will get to see the animals from your balcony. But if it's not in the budget, because those can be very pricey, or you may not be in your room that much, check out our room request tips, or use the viewing areas around the resort. Before staying here, I thought a savanna view would be the only way to see the animals, which is not true. Paying extra for a room with a view isn't the only way to see animals or have a fantastic time at this resort. 
We were shocked by all of the amazing recreational activities and delicious food at this resort. I could seriously have eaten all day. But there was one big flaw, which is the reason why Chris isn't putting this resort in his top three. If you want to see our Animal Kingdom Lodge Tour Part 2 detailing all of the transportation, dining, and activities that you can do, check out the description below. We're going to deep dive into all of these to help you have a magical experience. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you missed our first resorts, you can catch up right here. Planning a Disney trip? Check out the video description below. We have listed our favorite videos, travel must-haves, and much more info to help you plan your stay. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a magical resort stay.